Hi, I'm Dawn from the blog Parkinsonsandus.com. Welcome. Today we are going to make maple no-bake cookies. There is no baking involved. You do not need your oven and it only takes six ingredients. They're delicious and they're healthy-ish. There's ways to make them healthier than others and I'm going to do it one way today in this video, but in my blog I will have the full recipe with variations to make it even healthier and I will put that link down in the description box. These maple no-bake cookies are similar to my peanut butter energy bites, which I posted a few weeks back, but these cookies do not contain peanut butter like the energy bites do, but they're both considered raw, vegan and gluten-free. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna measure out one cup of rolled oats and place it in your food processor. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. And then you just wanna blend up the oats until they are ground fine. Next, we're going to add a half a cup of light brown sugar and a half a cup of tahini. Then we're gonna measure out one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. That's it, then we're gonna blend this all together. Now sometimes it can be a little bit dry, which is perfectly fine. Just blend it all together, mix it up. And if the mixture is too dry, you're gonna take unsweetened soy milk or any other plant-based milk and you just wanna add one tablespoon at a time and then just blend it up until it begins to form a nice cookie dough. I ended up having to add two tablespoons of the soy milk. And once you have all the ingredients blended up, then you're just going to scoop it out onto your baking pan that is lined with a silicone baking sheet or parchment paper. Now there are two ways you can scoop out this cookie dough. You can use your cookie scoop and just kind of press the dough into the scoop, or you can use your hands and just roll it out. I've showed you both ways in this video just so you have an idea. Now halfway through scooping out this dough, I decided I wanted to roll some of the cookies in shredded coconut. So just take about a half a cup of shredded coconut and place it in a small dish. And then once you've rolled out the dough, then you just wanna roll it in the shredded coconut to make sure it's coated well. And then once you've rolled out your dough, you wanna take either a fork or the back of a spoon and then just gently press the dough flat. And that's all there's to it. Then you just wanna place these cookies in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes to just make sure they're nice and chilled. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the freezer. They were in there about 15, 20 minutes. And that is all there's to it. I'm just gonna put them in this Tupperware. And I like to store them in the refrigerator, but you can also store them in the freezer. And you can also make them bigger. I just made them little bite size, but you can definitely make them bigger like a, you know, like a regular size cookie. Okay, they're all done. Very easy. This is actually a half a batch. I just made a little batch today. The recipe that I have on the blog, and I'll put that 
link in the description below, but that is the full recipe. So it will actually double this. And if you do like this video, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up or comment below or hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be part of the Parkinson's and Us community, that would be great. It is a lovely community filled with lots of love and support where I provide nourishing recipes, joyful living tips, and support for care partners everywhere. So until next time, bye for now.